Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video for you. I got a another addition to the seated uh, MS62 half dollars. And this is another uh, coin from a famous collection, the D.L. Hansen collection. And D.L. Hansen, he's right up there with uh, Eliasberg as far as trying to put a, together a collection of every U.S. coin ever minted. And I wasn't able to find out if he was successful in that. I think he actually is um, or he's very close so Eliasberg um, I think he did get every coin um, but he stopped in 1964 at the end of the silver coins is where his collection ended and DL Hansen wanted to duplicate that and then expand it all the way up until current day and DL Hansen is still alive he is uh, owner of a major league uh, women's soccer team in Salt Lake City, owns the stadium. His daughter played uh, professional soccer, so I'm, I'm assuming that's where he got into it, uh, supporting her through her sports. And uh, he made his uh, wealth in the real estate business, commercial real estate in the western states. Arizona, California, uh, New Mexico, an avid coin collector, and he sold off a lot of his uh, duplicate coins, and I'm assuming this is one of his duplicates. Um, I'm sure he still has his core collection together. It's a really nice example of 1858 New Orleans, and a lot of these were uh, shipwreck coins, although I don't think this one is. <clears throat> it doesn't look to me like that. Um, and I would prefer one like this. I, I don't really want a shipwreck coin because all those have been uh, conserved or cleaned or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I definitely don't think that this is one of those. And it's a real nice original patina to it, kind of this darker toning. Uh, this is a pickup from a few months ago. And I got a really good deal on it, so that's why I bought it. Um, I upgraded, uh, I think in one of my previous videos, I showed a 1858. Oh, that was in uh, AU58. And, this, and uh, I got rid of that and, and upgraded to this one's much nicer. Uh, 1858 New Orleans had a mintage of 7.2 million. So this is one of the higher mintage years. You know, offhand you might think that this um, uh, would be a rare date, but it's not. It's kind of one of the more common dates. Um, the book value on this coin is about 750 in MS-62 and I like coins with uh, provenance like this ones from uh, famous collections I think it's pretty cool I showed those ones I got from the Simpson collection uh, a while ago those are three uh, walking liberty half dollars and now I got this one I'd, I'd, really, I'd really like to get a coin from the Pogue collection. It could be really cool. He had some really great quarters, barber quarters, and um, he had pretty much a little bit of everything, but I'd really like to scoop up one of those barbers that he had. Uh, maybe someday I'll be able to get that and uh, maybe get an example from the Eliasberg collection too. I think it would be pretty cool. I think it adds a little bit of a uh, Collectability, you know, for me. So, anyways, that's just a little bit about uh, D.L. Hansen. His uh, real, no real name is uh, Del Loy Hansen. Yeah, and his uh, net worth is around uh, $4 billion. So, 
pretty wealthy guy to be able to take up a challenge like that. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have a good rest of your day.